What's good, y'all? So I'm finna tell you the story of the Maya and Demarcus. Okay, so I'm I'm legit at a gas station right now because it has the best lane, and it just so happened I'm visiting my parents for the holidays. So I don't have my studio stuff. So I make I make it do. But let me get to the story. The story of Maya and Demarcus. So basically, Maya and Demarcus met in high school. So this is Maya. This is Demarcus. They met in high school. Um, they fell in love instantly. One because Maya's dad just died, and she basically was looking for you know a male love, a, a type of love. And Demarcus, you know, he never really had love from his folks either. So they basically, you know, just joined together to say we're gonna love each other. So they, you know, they go everything going good. Maya is like a cheerleader. Demarcus is the football player. Everyone knows the Maya and Marcus. They always at the school holding hands, being, being you know popular, being cool. I was the center of attention. Everybody liked them, liked them so much that they was about to win homecoming king and queen. So tell me why. The day before homecoming, Demarcus never told Maya he was in a game because he had the best clothes. You know, these boys be having the best clothes or whatever, but the Marcus never told her how he was getting these clothes. So like I said, he does not have a good relationship with his folks. So everything the Marcus gets is out the mud and like legit, he, he get it on his own. So when one lick went wrong, he knew it was homecoming. So he needed a nice suit. The suit was $300, the suit that he was trying to get. He never told Maya, he didn't, he, you know, the way he got his money. So. A lit went wrong with a rival gang and they told him if they ever see him again, they're gonna kill him and his folks. And somebody even said something about Maya. So he told so he told them if they touch his folks, he gonna kill them all. But he just decided to leave, right? So Demarcus decides to leave and Maya is stuck not knowing what's going on. So here it is. This is how Maya found out Demarcus left. You hear me every time I have to say it because this is actually based on a true story, y'all. So Maya is at homecoming. They're calling the names homecoming king and queen. We finally announced is Maya and Demarcus. You know, imagine all the confetti coming down, all that good stuff. So the confetti comes down. Maya, you know, getting a little shaz, getting everything. Everybody like, what, what Demarcus said, well, my boy, you know, the whole football team, well, my boy, well, my boy, you know how loud the football team always is, well, my boy. So then the loudness turns to quietness. Where's Demarcus? Where's Demarcus? And Maya is, is like based out playing. So she's texting him, come out the bathroom, wherever you at. 25 minutes pass. Demarcus is nowhere to be seen. Maya is sitting there concerned because you know Demarcus was actually supposed to be picking her up from her house. I forgot to tell y'all yet. I forgot to tell y'all that. Demarcus was actually supposed to be picking Maya up from her home. But he never came. But she forgave him because she thought, well, maybe he was just busy. So that's how she ended up getting her heart broken for the first time. Two years passed. Maya moves on, moves, goes to college. She's got a chilling scholarship, all that. Finds a new boyfriend. Demarcus finally comes back out of hiring two years later. Because he's been secretly stalking her IG, everything. This boy is so determined to get Maya back. Why does he enroll in the same college secretly? Befriends her boyfriend. She has a boyfriend now, but he pretends to be the dude friend to get close to him. Waits two months. Then asks you, hey, bro, can I spend out of your house? You know, something wrong with my plumbing. Just to get into the door. So he goes to, um... He goes, he goes to the boy, to the boyfriend's house. The boyfriend's name is Keon. Here's a, I'm gonna just put a picture of Keon right here. There's Keon. Keon, oh, you know, tells Maya. She tells him basically, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you my homeboy DeMarc is coming. So she look at him like, oh yeah, Keon and Maya stay together now. They in college, that's what you do when you're in college. You get your own little apartment. Um, so Keon says, hey babe, um, DeMarc is coming. She says, who? Who Demarcus? So in the back of Maya's head, she's legit thinking, not my Demarcus. It can't be him. Who is Demarcus? Who are you bringing to my to my house? And Keon's like, oh, it's just my folks. Knock on the door. So Keon opens the door. Hey, Marcus. So Maya looks at who's at the door. She can't believe it. She walks, 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 stares at him. Keon says, hey, baby, this is my homeboy, Demarcus. Pushes her closer to him. He's like, hey, don't be rude. So he said, hey, bro, you didn't tell me. Your... So Demarcus grabs her hand and say, hey, bro, you didn't tell me your girl was this fine. Kisses the girl 
on the freaking hand. She's frozen for a moment, pulls her hand away. That's the first time I've seen DeMarcus in two years. She slick wants to go out, but she can't. Cause why? Keon is right there. She does not want Keon to know about DeMarcus. She never told Keon about DeMarcus. She wants to forget about DeMarcus. Cause sometimes we cope with things in different ways. Sometimes some people just want to forget. It's easier for them to, for, to forget and go to counseling, confront the person and she couldn't confront DeMarcus cause he disappeared. Like legit, no cell phones, no nothing, no social medias, everything was just gone. So, Keon says, hey bro, I'm gonna go pick up our, our bro, come with me. DeMarcus said, hey bro, I need to take a shower first. He said, Keon, like, hey bro, I don't got time for that. You just take your shower, Um, I'll be back. So now, DeMarcus and DeMarcus and Maya are at the house alone. Worst mistake Keon made, because Keon does not know what's going on. DeMarcus purposely goes to the bathroom, passes by the towels. I wonder why he passed by the towels. Then, get, then grab one. He gets out the shower and yells, look, pretends to look and yell, hey, you got a towel? So he's naked. Maya kind of, she knows the Marcus. She was with him for two years. She knows his games. So it's, her mind is telling her no, but her heart is telling her, just go, just go. Maybe if you see him this one last time, it'll, you'll get over him. So her heart is being thump, 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 thump. She ends up going to get him the towel. Yeah, I'm getting nervous too. So she ends up going to go get DeMarcus a towel. Then she sees him naked with nothing on. She sits there and stares. So now DeMarcus knows he has her right where he wants her. He goes and he goes into the living room where she's at, talks nice to her, works his way under the covers with her, and then asks her, does he does he know? She looks at him and says, Does he know? She said, no, I never told him about you. So he doesn't know I was your first. Then she looks at him and finally says, the Marcus, leave in the past. She looks at him and says, leave the past in the past. And then he, and then he you know, he real smooth. The Marcus put his hand around and say, you know, I miss nights like this. And she says, nights like what? Nights like this. He grabs her face, kisses her. Next thing she hears is, he's rattling. Kim back at the door. So she runs, then she sits in the room, thinks about it, like, I can't go back to Mark. He hurt me, I'm not gonna go back to this, he's not gonna ruin my new life. She opens the door, boom, this man just the door, opens it. Babe, I got something to tell you. Keon, you know, he with the boys, I don't got time for this, what's up, what's up, what's up? She was like, listen, baby, I got something to tell you. Baby, can this please wait? I'm with the boys. So she was like, you know what? Never mind, and goes back in her room, slams the door. And that's the end of episode one. Because episode one is actually based off a true story. So if you have not seen episode one of my generation, make sure you go see it. This was a story time because people said they like the story times a little bit better. So I'm going to see how this goes. But make sure, make sure you support the show, y'all. Appreciate all the love.